I'm Mateusz, I'm from Skalak, and today I would like to talk to you about the actors for which I've completed uh, actor system together with uh, remote functionality. So first, let's look at the agenda. Um, first, I will start with the actor's outline. Then I will move to Akka to recall it quickly. And then I will move to Zaya Actors to show library design together with some examples. And then I will uh, sh share with you about the problems you have to face while implementing your own actor system. <coughs> so first about actors. Mm, so actor model was first introduced by Carl Hewitt in his paper from 1970s where he described actor model as a set of actors communicating with, with each other with messages that do not share a common state. And while reading it, we can recognize features that we're currently using in Akka. So for example, that we uh, can spawn actors and delegate work to them. Um, the paper also describes fire and forget interaction pattern that we send a message and do not expect a message to be uh, sent back to the sender. And so let's simplify actors to such diagram. So for us actors, receive messages, then actor processes it in a concrete uh, manner <coughs> where while processing actor can um, spawn finite amount of children actors and can send finite amount of messages and after processing a message we can update the actor's behavior and it all uh, repeats. So that was the um, general idea. Now let's focus what we want from the API design. So for us, actors should have a defined message uh, type. So we should be aware what kind of message we can send to an actor. Uh, we want actors to have a known error type. So whether the actor can fail with some um, custom error. Um, we ac want actors to form a supervision tree. So in case of failure, we can um, recover from the error with some policy. And we want actors to be location transparent. So we want also actors remoting and to communicate with them as they are a local one. So to be mm, transparent. So first let's recall the ACA. So as you know, in ACA we have a uh, currently ACA classic. So untyped actors where we create actors defined we define a receive message and we mm, communicate with the actor where we don't know what kind of messages mm, we can send to this, to this actor. Mm, we have also a typed actors where with behaviors we mm, define a messages that can be sent to an actor and we, with behaviors we can update the behavior after processing each message. Uh, Akka also provides us a set of mm, interaction patterns. So first behavior uh, uses the fire and forget interaction pattern where we fire and forget a message and continue. So here it's with an exclamation mark. And there's also an ask pattern where we mm, expect a message to be sent back to us after mm, sending some message to an actor. Mm. Also Akka provides us with lookup and remoting, where the remoting state with uh, untyped uh, actors in classic. So for uh, typed actors, we have to use a proxy typed actor of to integrate those two modules. Mm. So now let's move to the Zaya actors. Let's look at the uh, library design. And this, let's try to spot the um, similarities and differences with Akka. So the first thing we are going to use is actor system. So same in Akka, where we, we are equipped with a constructor where we provide a um, name of actor system. And we also can provide a remote configuration, which is optional. So in case we want our actor system to be only in local one, we do not provide it. Having instantiated actor system, we have a few method, uh, we have a few methods that we can use. So make for spawning new actors, where we provide a unique um, actor name within this actor system. We provide a supervision strategy for um, recovering from errors. Provide some initial state for an actor, and we provide a stateful, which will be the description of an actor's behavior. 
we have a select for actor lookup or so the remote one and shutdown for shutting down the actor system and all the Zaya actors uh, Zaya actors is backed by Zaya so everything is um, in effects mm, so let, let's look how to mm, define uh, custom mm, behavior for an actor so we have a straight stateful which we need to implement so we have a free mm, type parameters, so S is for a um, state, type, uh, type for uh, actor state, E is for a custom error type that uh, actor might produce, and F is type for uh, messages that actor process. And we have to provide our implementation of a receive method, where for each message we have a state that actor is currently in, and the message that we're currently processing, and the context, so basically a handler to actor system that this actor is bound to, <coughs> so uh, we can use it to spawn children actors uh, for actor uh, lookup and stopping the actor. And there is also um, actor ref, so a reference to an actor, and you can see that we have uh, two interaction <coughs> patterns provided, so ask interaction pattern, a question mark, where we have a A type parameter, which is a type for a return message that will be sent back to an actor. So this is mm, like an extended ACCA type, where we will have a separate type for a, uh, return messages for a, mm, ask interaction pattern. There is a fire and forget interaction pattern, so exclamation mark, and uh, uh, we can get a path to this actor. So we've seen mm, the API, now let's look at some examples. So first we will look how it's typed, and this will be mm, the simplest example. So let's imagine we, we want uh, mm, actors that is a counter. So we define a message that we can send to such actor. So a reset for resetting a, a counter to zero, increase, to increase it by one, and get to retrieve the, mm, mm, the counter. So the type in the um, brackets is a type for a um, return message that will be sent back in case of a ask interaction pattern. <coughs> so unit unit means basically that it's like a fair and forget. And the int means that when used with a ask, we will retrieve the value of the counter. So let's create a stateful with a state int with uh, no custom error type and a message mm, trait that we will define the mm, message type. And we provide the receive implementation where we basically pattern match on the message that we received. And for each message, we uh, return a, a total effect, which is a tuple where the left hand side is an updated state, like in an ACA type behavior. So, zero in case of reset, increase, increase by one, and the right hand side is a mm, re return message that will be returned in case of a ask interaction pattern to the sender. And that, that's our handler. So let's build such actor. So first we define actor system, then we spawn a actor with a build handler and no supervision strategy, then we perform a Mm, chain of operations, mm, interactions with an actor, and you might say that the, mm, uh, the, the increase, so the uh, fire and forget is asynchronous, but it's synchronous to the level of uh, uh, confirming that the message was enqueued in a recipient's mailbox. So we're <laughs> sure that mm, the moment we send get, the two increases were already mm, enqueued in the recipient's mailbox. So that was the simple example of a counter. Now, let, now let's look how to build a simple finite state machine with um, Zaya actors. So this is the simplest finite state machine where it's not total because uh, there is no cell transition for a closed state. So we can expect that the actor should fail when receiving a cell operation for closed uh, within st closed state. So first we define mm, the mm, case objects. So case objects for uh, messages that we can send. So open close cell, where cell in case of asking interaction pattern returns a string. So for example, it's a invoice or a receipt. 
Then we define the case objects for a state, so open and closed, and we provide some custom mm, type for uh, mm, exception that will occur for a closed mm, cell message. And that's our domain. <coughs> we create our stateful with a state type state, cell exception and a command for message type, and we need to provide the implementation for the seed, where we basically pattern match first on state and then on message, so it's really simple. Let's look at the first part where we, for an opened state. So for open, we just ignore the message. For a close, for example, we do some logging that we're changing the state, then update it. And for selling, we can also return some, for example, invoice that we sell something. For a closed, everything is pretty much the same, except for the cell, where thanks to desire that we're using, we can easily just fail an effect with a with an exception, so, the, uh, so th that's the easy way to just mm, fail an actor. So we've seen that we can mm, fail, now let's look how to recover from mm, the errors. So here we are mm, equipped with a set of mm, comprehensive and composable schedules from Zion where we can define a recurse schedule, exponential, with a delay. So it's great to be using Zio. And let's imagine a simple example to test a, mm, some, some schedule for an actor. So imagine we have a behavior where actor receives a fail message, and the actor fails until some atomic ref reaches a max retries mm, value. Then it succeeds. And we build a mm, simple schedule that recurs a given number of tries. Mm, then we mm, wrap this schedule in a supervisor to create a policy that we provide to a spawn actor. And then we send, send a message and we can check whether the uh, schedule mm, worked as we expected in terms of number of retries <coughs> expected. Mm. Now let's move to the mm, remoting support. Mm, so, the remoting is pretty much, uh, it's all in a single module, so we're planning to separate into modules, the separate module for us re remoting, mm, but right now it's all together. So, for remoting, all, the only thing we have to do is provide a custom mm, address and port that this actor will be bound to, and that's all for a remote configuration. So imagine we mm, create an actor system with a remote configuration and spawn a new actor. And then on the other node, we create a, another actor system with a remote configuration. And with an actor selection, actor lookup, we can mm, get the, ac uh, the actor ref to the remote actor, where we have to provide a path to that actor that resides on a remote actor system. And then we can communicate with this actor as it's local because it's all location transparent. So now let's take a look into internals. So what problems you have to face while implementing your own actor system. And while doing this, I was looking a lot at the mm, ACA internals. And the fun part was that, that the source code of Aka even warned me that I might encounter a dragons in the source code, so that was pretty intense <laughs> to see this in the source code. Mm, so the two issues I would like to cover, mm, so the first is serialization, how to deal with serialization for actors, and the second is a socket handling, so both are about remoting. So in case of serialization, when, we, when the end user provides some um, custom um, messages that we will send, they, the case classes can be serialized as is, just like that. The issue arises when within the message <coughs> there will be a part of actor system itself. So um, when we send a message and the actor is inside, we, can, we can't serialize it just like that, because when deserialized, the actor ref uh, won't be able to communicate with uh, its original mm, actor system. 
So to do this, we need a custom serialization for actor ref. And we needed to make it that way that after serializing actor ref, uh, after deserializing, the deserialized actor ref need, uh, should be pointing to the um, original one and be able to communicate with, um, with this actor. And for that purpose, um, first we have a Mm, different types of mm, actor ref. So there is a local actor ref, there is a remote actor ref, and uh, mm, uh, and when how to convert between them? So we we're using the Java serialization for now, and with Java serialization we mm, provide custom write of the read object read resolve, and the serialized uh, form of an actor is just a. Uh, path to that actor, nothing else, that's the serialized form of an actor ref. So when deserialized, actor can be deserialized into, into a, a remote actor ref with a deserialized um, path. So when we want to communicate with this actor, actor will use a custom um, a client socket to communicate with its original host, with the original actor system. So we're, for now, we're using uh, Java serialization, but Java serialization is known to be slow and prone to attacks, so we're considering moving to another um, mechanism, another tool for um, serialization. Um, another part is, uh, another issue is a socket handling. So imagine we have a multiple number of actors uh, that communicates with each other and they perform a lot of ask and fire and forget, and also they perform a lot of mm, communication with the remote actors. And for that purpose, we decide to use a mm, non-blocking I.O., concretely the Java I.O. For, mm, so thanks to this, we can mm, handle multiple mm, connections with just a single or uh, just a few threads, thank, thanks to so-called mm, selector mechanism. So a selector mechanism allows us to mm, mm, handle multiple channels with, a, for example, a single thread. Mm, so when the thread performs, for, performs some input-output operation on a single channel and it's, for example, ask pattern, so we're, we're waiting for a recipient to process the message and return something. Instead of wasting time, the selector will decide to move the thread to another channel to uh, perform the I/O operation there, where we, uh, where they already arrived, <coughs> and uh, we didn't need to um, make it just uh, with plain Java because there is a great Zion I/O wrapper for that, so we stayed with, within the Zio and we also. We have no dependency apart from the Zio, so we have dependency on Zio, Zio Naya, and Zio test. Mm. Okay, so that was a quick summer. Uh, that was a quick presentation about this actor. Yet another actor system library. Uh, so check it out. And it's just there is a first pre-release that we we've made. Mm. It's at very early stage, so. Mm, feel free to uh, join to a contribution and to uh, let's build it together. And thank you.